Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another weekly episode and as usual I got some stuff to share with you. Uh, if you've been watching my channel, you saw that I got a, well, two giant REOK boxes from the same person. Go back and check that out, but uh, spoiler, there's going to be some spoilers for that box in this video because we're going to take a look at some of the pieces from that box um, actually up close in uh, the second half of this video. So... Um, just a massive box. It's from Jason A. Strain, 69 on YouTube here and on Instagram, so go check him out. Uh, really overwhelmed by the amount of stuff that he sent me. It was pretty, pretty darn crazy. But we are going to look at some stuff uh, today. So, starting with that stuff that was in the box, I'm just going to show this real quick. Um, so we got a, so a few Johnny Lightning. We got this two-pack right here. Legends of the Quarter Mile, and then we've got um, a couple other ones right here. I don't want these to fall out here, but we'll take a look at these. This is like a unrestored and restored kind of thing going on, and then um, we got some Chevys right here that we'll take a look at. So, uh, so we'll take a look at those. Um, there was some Shuko in the box, two Shuko. We'll take a look at both of these pieces in the uh, next segment. So we got a BMW Isetta and a Porsche 918 Spider. Um, I can't pick it up. We got the, well, maybe I can. Let's see if I can try to keep it together. Oh, I can't. We got the car carrier, Mini GT, the Actros car carrier. So I am really excited to have this. So we're gonna take a closer look at that. I know you guys have probably seen it on other channels before, but it's my first time having one. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at it. You know, we'll, we'll take a look at it in detail. And then, of course, we'll fill it full of cars. I kind of did that in the last video when I first seen it, too. But we're going to do that here as well. Um, and then I got some Mini GT, some newer Mini GT. This was not from Jason, but I'll show you this real quick. So we got these guys from Mini GT. Uh, really nice, cool models. We got a BMW, a Toyota Supra, well, Toyota TRD, uh, 3000 GT, and a Toyota Supra, and then uh, Mercedes Benz Evo. I've peeked at them; they're nice. And uh, then we got a bunch of Mini GT from uh, Jason in that video. Um, the ones that I don't already have, I've picked out. So there was a few that a bunch that he sent me that were actually duplicates. I do still have. I do have in my collection. Mainly, mostly the GTRs were the ones I didn't have. Now, I kind of brushed by these and pulled some out of the package um, in that last video, but we're going to take a look at these up close. And, you know, there's a bar. I got seven, basically. And that puts my mini GT count now up to a lot. And I have them kind of all in this carny case right here. And uh, problem is, is half of it kind of is Shuko. So there's Shuko on one side, and then there's like Mini GT on the other side, and there's a couple of random other brand stuff in there. But I am running out of room. Oh, yeah, and this one too. So, and apparently this one's very limited, limited to 3,000 pieces, and apparently this is a tough one to get, I guess. I don't know that it's expensive. Maybe it is. And uh, then we got this Kyosho Lambo. I'm excited to get this one off the base and check it out as well. Um, other than that, the only other thing I, di I did find the majority of the latest Hot Wheels Premium Fast and Furious Fast Stars set. I am missing the uh, Mitsubishi Eclipse, so need to get that to complete the set. And I think I might even just wait until I get that complete the set. Maybe I'll do a video on those. We've got a lot to look at here. Yeah, maybe we will open those. I don't know. So. And stay tuned and find out but that's pretty much it thanks again to jason for sending me a bunch of really really cool stuff i can't believe that you did that um he said he was going to send me a box and i didn't know it was going to be that huge let alone two huge uh flat rate boxes insane all right so let's go ahead and flip the camera around let's take a look at some of this stuff up close as we usually do and uh yeah stay tuned Okay, so we're going to start with Mini GT, and we're going to start with uh, this Actros uh, car carrier. Uh, this thing is just pretty crazy. Uh, you guys know, I've been saying this a lot lately, I've been loving Mini GT. 
I just like what they're doing. They're putting on a, a very kind of cool variety of stuff. And this just is definitely, you know, shows that. Uh, so let's take a look actually at the trailer first and just kind of check it out. So there are some, there are some moving pieces on this, not much. So this, uh, the top is stationary. Um, the big fragile point of this is going to be these railings which they feel very, very solid on there, but obviously if you drop this thing on its head, there's a chance that they could definitely break off. Um, so there is that. The, I don't think the middle moves at all. Nope. Uh, that is permanently in place, it looks like. Uh, the wheels are rubber. The whole thing is metal, uh, with the exception of these railings, which are plastic. Even these little uh, ramps here that go in to hide away. Our metal so very very cool and then the other moving bit is these right here uh, so these are like it's kind of neat it's like a screw with like a rectangular head that fits inside of these things right here so you can actually unscrew them and screw them in to raise or lower that is really cool this one slipped off a little bit So it's kind of a tedious process, I suppose, but uh, definitely a cool idea. I'm probably just going to leave them tight to the... Leave the screws tight in, because obviously I'm going to display this on the cab. So here is that. So this truck actually was available recently, I think, by itself as well. So you could get it by itself. One of the interesting uh, things to note about it is it's got steering. So you, posable steering, which is really cool. And then the base of it, these little bits on the bottom, suspension pieces and all that stuff is all plastic, but kind of like the frame of it is metal. Um, so this part right here is plastic, I believe. Yeah. And there's some other plastic little bits and stuff like that. Nice little detail here. Um, very very cool and uh, so metal body of course the mirrors are hard plastic uh, that's really cool detailed interior inside of there um, I don't know if the uh... no okay I was just checking to see if maybe that it would be crazy that the steering wheel would turn with the wheels but it doesn't and that's fine because why that's completely unnecessary all right so really really cool really fantastically detailed i'm super glad to get one of these in the collection i don't know every time i think about mini gt i start to think that maybe i want to become a completionist of mini gt not necessarily like the miho chases but it would be cool to have every single model they put out there's some of the stuff i'm not super excited about but still to be a completionist gosh this would be a brand i just think they're fantastic i really really do and uh so we're gonna go ahead and just set this back here for now it'll probably be the backdrop for the rest of the video hopefully you're cool with that uh, i definitely am so let's take a look at some more mini gt and let's start with some the new castings brand new or not necessarily new castings but new releases we do have one new casting in here but let's start with this blue bmw this is a bmw m3 alpina alpina i don't know how to pronounce that b6 3.5 s and blue um newer packaging for mini gt i like it it's a little bit more um colorful some of the older styles and I think it looks nice. You got your uh, official licensing and stuff like that on the back, which is kind of cool to see. And just, yeah, nice and basic. These would have been wrapped in plastic, but I did already open them and take peeks at them. So, so here you go. Opina Blue. Just really cool. All right, so let's go ahead and... Oh, that's kind of neat. It's got like some... Uh, details there on the side that I didn't notice before it must be because it's the Alpina Alpina whatever edition 
You know, we got a wobbler in the back there. Small quality control issue there. Uh, Mini GT has been, I've been really lucky with them. I haven't really had any issues. This is probably fixable. I got to be careful pushing it, the wheel on all the way, but we'll mess with that off camera. But I should be able to get this wheel to straighten out. But that is quite the wobble. Uh, inserted headlights look great. This is a casting that I have a couple of examples for already. We just need some back axle help on there. And I could I should be able to do that. Although you don't like to see quality issues with these. I just I, I really, really love the brand and uh, you know, we're gonna hope that they can keep up their excellent quality. We're gonna go ahead and just put that in there for now. So there's your BMW. Ooh, can we get a focus? Can we get a focus? There we go. All right. Next, let's take a look. Let me put this away here real quick. Uh, let's do the. I'm gonna save my favorite for last. Let's do the uh, Supra. Pandem, Toyota GR Supra Advan. 2019 SEMA. Uh, very cool. Number 207 in the series. TSM model. And let's go ahead and open it up. I love this packaging. I love that you can go back and store the cars in the boxes with this protective shell. I think that's just perfect. So this is a casting I'm not super crazy about, but I thought I'd get it in Advan livery because it looks really cool in Advan um, livery. I think the other one I have is like a silver. I'm trying to think of what's on that one. I can't remember. But uh, this one's better, I think. So, of course, the details you would expect from Mini GT. We got lens details in the back, all sorts of detail. Just looks fantastic. I love that tinted headlight. Looks really cool, and just, that's a fantastic looking model. So we'll go ahead, and we'll park that. Oop. Maybe we'll whack there. You didn't really want that there. Maybe we'll put this one on top. <clears throat> there you go. We don't have to look at that every time, do we? All right, next is the Toyota TRD 3000 GT in Alpine Silver Metallic. And this thing looks just awesome. It's another Toyota. Number 200. This way. So, I'm excited about... I was excited about this one. Brand new casting and all that. And definitely a cool one. But not my favorite of the four new ones that I got. Get this box open. But here this is. I mean that is just cool. You just can't deny that Mini GT is really doing it right for 164 scale. They just are. Um, it's really everything I want from a diecast company. And even the price point is just on point with what you get it's just fantastic these really are a value i think you guys let me know what you think but i think they are they're all metal construction they're not made with really any weak parts or points or at least not many you know they've got the rubberized kind of mirrors so they're a little bit harder to break off uh, the fit and finish of the cars for 164 scale uh, oftentimes is just nothing short of fantastic so I am definitely a fan of Mini GT. Let's go ahead and stick that one on top next to the other Supra. And then lastly, though, this thing is just crazy cool. Mercedes-Benz 190E 2.5 16 Evolution 2 number 5 Berlin 1992 DTM Zolder. This thing is just... Delivery is just wild. And it turned out really cool on this car brief 
moment I got to look at it. It's a very like bright silver. And this is just sick. You gotta be careful. I think I just did something bad. Whoops, I put my thumb right on the hood ornament. I think I just bent her back more than it's supposed to be. So that is definitely the weak point of this car. You gotta be careful. Um, it's probably fine. You definitely don't want to try to, I don't want to try to bend that at all because it will break right off. My guess is it will. But it's so incredibly fine. Finely detailed. It's just amazing what they're doing with this stuff. So I really like this one in plain silver. And I have it in plain silver, but darn, it does look great with this all these signatures all over the place. It just looks absolutely fantastic. So that one is beautiful. Uh, let me stick that up there. All right. <clears throat> so now we're into stuff we're going to kind of go through a little bit quickly. Um, and that's going to be Mini GT, you know, these gtrs so these gtrs are cool i haven't picked up a lot of them because i have a couple in my collection and now i really don't need to pick up a bunch because i've got a bunch i didn't realize though how many different variations there are of this little tooling so until now so this one is this limited edition liberty walk police one which is kind of neat so we get uh i get these little figures which are cool I like how they have little clear bases probably will make it easier to like make them look realistic in a photo so there you go some lovely ladies we'll just go put you right over here and then of course the vehicle itself the rewalk with a police twist so very cool so you got the the liberty walk uh like body kit version of this big wing and then you get the addition of a light bar so that is kind of cool let me go ahead and just let that sit out here for a minute and we'll leave these over here as well and then we got, let's see, which one should we look like at next? Let's go through the Liberty Walk ones first. Uh, this one's, next one's pretty basic. This one is right here. Uh, Nissan GTR in white, number 68. This, I think this came as like a, also in like a flat white. This is like a gloss white. And here it is. So same Looks like exactly the same basic casting with a different wing. So two different wing toolings. So see what I mean here? There's like a lot of weird little difference. Oh, I think, is there more different stuff about this? Yeah. And I don't know enough about the GTR to know if there's like some slight different differences in variations of how the regular one looks but yeah look at that the hood's different on this one the wings different on this one very interesting there's just so many different little variations of this uh this car so you might think that they're putting out the same thing <clears throat> over and over and over again well with a bunch of Liberty Walk GTRs, but they're actually kind of not because there's a lot of differences. Um, here is a Nissan GTR in candy red. Let's see what we got with this one. So this one looks like it's the same tooling all around as the police version. Here's what it appears. It's got that same wing um, and hood is the police version so yeah this looks identical uh, except for the of course the light bar there's no light bar in this one 
yeah, the back looks the same. It looks like that. Yeah, all the little components and stuff that make up this, it looks like they use the same stuff on both of these. Okay, so these are the same. We're going to put keep the, those together. This one's slightly different. Let's see what else we got. We keep going through the Liberty Walk ones. Uh, this next one is in blue. Uh, GTR LB Works Livery 2.0. Now this one looks like it's going to be the same as the white one. Let's go ahead and open it up. And it appears to be so. So it's got that same wing on the back, uh, the same look in front end, uh, same hood, all that stuff. So that's, that's going to be the same as the white one. It looks nice and blue. You can't really see that. There it is. It, it's a nice color blue. So again, okay, so we still only have, two, I guess, two different variations of this tooling. And let's see here. Um, okay, so we got this one. So this is definitely a little different. Here is the Nissan GTR in satin silver, Liberty Walk. LB Works. Number 49. Pull this one out. So this one is wingless. So and other than the fact that it is wingless, 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 um, it, it looks to be the same tooling. Yep, it's the same tooling as the police car in the red one. Except for, of course, there's no wing on this one. You just get like the duck tail. I like this one. Satin silver looks really, really neat. So there you go. That's like three different variations, I suppose, of... Oh, what's going on? oh yeah. Three different variations uh, so far of... Or two different variations, sorry. Three, actually, yeah. The wingless one, duh. Uh, three different variations of this Liberty Walk casting. So kind of neat. You know, the little subtle dis differences and stuff like that, like a different hood, a uh, different wing... Uh, stuff like that some added like arrow up here on this one um, Just really really neat, uh, but then we got this one which I think is well I know is my favorite of this grouping this LB silhouette works GT Nissan 35 GT RR JPS whatever that means. Oh Jack player John player special So this is kind of an homage to like a Lotus livery, right? And this thing is just sick looking. So if there's one out of this group that I would recommend, it would be this one. It looks really cool. So this one has... Uh, it has its own unique hood, its own unique wing. And it looks like its own, yeah, own unique body kit. So this is like a completely different tooling for this GTR and it's the meanest looking one in my opinion not just because of the livery the livery does look great I love the wheels on it I like the the wing on it I think it looks cooler um, I think just overall this thing is just mean looking and I like it so there you go there's a fourth variation so when they come up with these GTRs I'll probably look for another version of this one of that particular like tooling uh, to add to the collection in the future. But we're not done. We're not done. So this is all your Liberty Walk stuff. And then next, we got Pandem. And I got two of those. So we got one in blue here. Go ahead and pull that one out. So this is a slightly different... It looks pretty close to the LB Works, like, fenders, but it's definitely different. This would be the closest one to compare, I guess. You can see the wheel wells are different. Uh, let's see the back, how different the back is. Yeah, I mean, the differences are subtle, but they're there. hood is the same so it must be like the stock gtr hood um really cool though so in blue and just another variation 
of this GTR. And, and it's just really cool. Like I said, it's really cool that new GT uh, does all this. And especially for you GTR fans. Man, if you are a GTR fan, if you just love that car, like this is the brand for you to collect. This is Mini GT. Because there's a ton of these. I don't know if they ever did just a stock GTR. I don't think they have. Is it necessary for them to do that? I don't know. I mean, there is... You know, there's been Kyo shows. There's been uh, Tomica Limited Vintages that were stock GTRs. I don't know if it's quite necessary. And then we got this one here in pink. That looks cool. It looks like we might have had some super glue action on this mirror. That is... Yeah, like the white residue from a super glue. It's coming right off, which is cool. It's got to be what that is, right? So you can kind of see the body kit a little bit better on this one. And this one has a different wing than that one. So yet another variation. So this might be boring to you to look at a bunch of GT GTRs, but... Uh, I don't know, to me it's pretty cool uh, just that they got all these different variations. So there's your mini GT lineup for today. And I'm just too lazy to move that to look at the rest of this stuff, so we're not going to. Um, let's do, and we're already on, well, 21 minutes on this segment, so we got a kind of boogie here. Um, so this is going to end up being a long video. I apologize. I'm looking at this Kyosho next. This is what we're doing. Let's uh, pull it out of the case. I'm actually probably going to end up displaying this back in the case just because, but we will unscrew it for the moment because I want to see what the base looks like. So this is a newer Kyosho. I mean, and it's obvious it's newer because it's a Lamborghini Centenario, and that is a relatively new car, right? So... <clears throat> But this thing just looks fantastic. I wonder if Mini GT will do one of these. I don't know. But really cool, weird orange lined tires that have this little break right here, right here, right here, right here. And that's on purpose. It makes them look a little weird. It's like an orange and charcoal grayish metallic color. And it is just, this is really cool. It's a weird looking Lambo. But, man, this is a really cool version of it. So, yeah, I, des I guess I would definitely recommend maybe picking one of these up if you're a Lambo fan. Because I'm not disappointed here looking at this at all. I think that looks fantastic. All right, so that's going to end up getting displayed in its acrylic case for now. Because, like I said, I'm out of room already in my carny cases. I redid this diecast room, and it's already a freaking mess. I'm telling you. We're going to leave that out for now, though. We'll leave it right there. So, oh, yeah, the one thing about Kyosho, by the way, plastic base, screwed together construction. Rubber tires, if you're not familiar with them. Um, they do have fragile pieces, such as these mirrors. These are plastic. Uh, so they would be easy to break off if you're not careful. Uh, some of them roll. Some of them don't. This one rolls pretty darn good. So really, really neat. So... Kyosho. I wish Kyosho would come back out with a bunch of stuff that would be just fantastic. All right. Uh, let's take a look real quick then at a couple of Shuko, the Porsche 918 Spider. Um, this one is a Miho exclusive. They are limited to only 2,400 pieces, so fairly limited production. And it is Martini livery with a metallic silver paint. Now, they've done this in white as well and I think the white technically looks a little bit better than the silver but the silver is really cool too so nice to add this little one to my collection I love Shuko as well Shuko is another one of my favorite brands I like the way they're constructed they're all metal and in fact I will go on a limb and say this like the Shuko stuff to me or <clears throat> and mini GT are kind of in the same sort of category you know as far as how the cars are constructed like they have you can roll them around and stuff like that. They're all metal. Um, they tend to have their their if they add pieces to the vehicle, they tend to be pretty durable. Um, and actually, the mirrors on this one, yeah, are cast in, so they're metal. 
Uh, they're not an extra piece. Um, they both always have, you know, inserted details for the headlights and stuff like that. And they both, uh, in my experience, have really good quality control. So, yeah, definitely a brand I would recommend is Shuko 164 scale. They have a limited selection of what they've made so far. Definitely more limited than your Mini GT, but uh, they do do some interesting stuff, such as this BMW Isetta. Look at this little cute thing. These are only limited to 1,200 pieces, so they're pretty limited. That's limited. Um, look at this little thing. Now, Kyosho's made one of these. Um, I don't have it. I don't think I have it anyway. Uh, but really cool to get the uh, the Shuko. Like I said, this is going to be all metal. <laughs> Just look at that little goofy thing. Rubber tires. Tiny rubber tires. Oh, we got a little wobble there in the back wheel. Eh. Not noticeable if you're just posing for a picture. Got a little bit of flashing left over here on the uh, thing, but this thing is so tiny. Uh, just to look at, you know, for scale. Here's your GTR. Can pretty much fit three of these almost. Well, two at least end to end. So that is just kind of neat, really, really neat. Just a goofy little, little car. All right. So what do we got left? There's only we're only gonna look at I guess the Johnny Lightning. We gotta we gotta do it. Let's just do it real quick. And we got Chevy Camaro. And some Johnny Lightning. I still I still do pick up some here and there. <clears throat> I don't grab all of them. There's a, there's a lot out there. Anytime I see cool Johnny Lightnings though, um, old or new. Like this one, I like this one a lot. So the Chevy Nova. They just do some fun stuff. Johnny Lightning does this Camaro tooling. Not a big fan of it. I do I think have one in my collection. This one looks all right. It's got an opening hood, cast in engine. Uh, this one, the engine on this one is metal, by the way, as well. Of course, there's variations of this tooling, with or without a hood. Big, fat drag tires in the back. <clears throat> and pretty cool. Um, so the one thing about Johnny Lightning, I guess, the only thing, if I had a complaint, is just that it's not 164 scale. So sometimes the cars don't fit in as well. So this is a Sox and Martin Dick Landy. So sometimes these cars just don't fit in as well as they would with other brands because they're not 100%, you know, 164 scale. So this 1970 Dodge Challenger Pro Stock is pretty neat. All metal construction, rubber tires. I think the hood opens. Yes, it does. Really cool. Yeah, that's definitely a cool one. I like that. And then uh, the 1970 Plymouth Superbird Superstock. <coughs> Excuse me. Is another cool one as well. So again, smaller than 164 scale. Opening hood though. <coughs> Rubber tires. And just a cool vintage racing livery. Dig in that for sure. So that is definitely a welcome add to the collection. Um, and then lastly, this is a cool idea. So they did a unrestored and a restored 1965 Chevy Chevelle. I love when die-cast companies do the weathered stuff. I think it's just really, really cool. This one looks like it's got a jammed up wheel as well. But look at the... Uh, what they did with that... That is just quite cool. And then, of course, all fixed up and restored. Yeah, except for the stance is a little... They need to work on some, uh, some of the suspension here. Is this a plastic base? 
It is. Huh. That's kind of odd. Huh. Yeah, all the rest of these are metal. I know Johnny Lightning did do some plastic bases, you know. <clears throat> Especially in, like, the Tomy era. Just kind of interesting to see it now. But, yeah, that's a plastic base. So this is still a pretty cool pair. Uh, something up with these wheels, though. Don't really want to roll. And the stance on this one is messed up. Um, these do have an opening hood. Nice detail in there for the motor. Let's check this one out. Ah, I'm waiting for one of them to do that. When you weather the car, it'd be super cool if you made it look all crappy inside of here, too. Just a little touch. I know. It's probably expensive to do it. Uh, but why not? I should do one like that. That would be cool. Do a restored and unrestored, but, you know, make it look really unrestored. Gosh, it almost looks like the trunk opens on this one. At first, when I saw that it had a plastic base, it got me thinking that this might be an Ertl casting. But I don't think it is. God, it looks like that trunk is a separate piece, does it not? On here, on this one, it doesn't look quite as much like that. But on this one, it does. It looks like it could have at one time opened. Interesting. All right. <clears throat> so there's that. Very lightweight, those cars, because of the uh, plastic base. So we're not going to look at the Fast and Furious stuff. <clears throat> And that's going to be enough for now. Uh, thank you guys again for watching another long video. I would say, you know, if we're picking favorites today, um, we're going to go three three favorites are going to be this Lambo. is really cool. This uh, John Player Special GTR is absolutely fantastic. Uh, we're going to pick four favorites, actually. This Mer Mercedes-Benz. Of course, then we got the Actros, too. I guess, like, five favorites. Five? Is that enough? The Actros, this, 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 and uh, and yeah, and this. These are the ones I'm most excited about. Just really awesome stuff from Mini GT. All right. Thank you guys very much for watching another video. You guys have yourself an excellent day.